My ordination was September 16th, 2001. I have been an interim pastor, so I've moved around a lot. I started with a congregation called Holy Trinity in Valley Stream, then St. David's in Massapequa Park, Freeport Christ Cristo in Freeport, New Hope in Jamaica, Redeemer in Queens Village, back to New Hope in Jamaica, and now I am serving two congregations, Grace in Uniondale and um, Epiphany Epiphania in Hempstead. And that's where you're still serving? That's where I am now, yes. The happiest times were when I worked with children, um, preschool, um, doing chapel with them, telling them stories, hearing their responses. Being taken seriously. I started out at the age of 13 feeling called even before women were ordained in our, um, in our denomination. And the pastor I spoke to told me I should be a clinical psychologist. And I guess now that I have been ordained and I am being called, I'm taken more seriously. But I think there's still a difference between how men and women in the ministry are perceived. I think it's just about time that we're finally allowing people to serve God as God has called them. Um, and that we're not allowing past prejudices and biases um, to determine how we allow people to serve God. Something that you would like to, maybe like an advice and to give to the, new gen the next generation of women who maybe are feeling this call, maybe young people who are, and they're doubting if they should go to this path, mm -hmm. like female. Okay. Um, um, if they feel called, I think that they should do everything possible to pursue it, to see if in fact this is what God's calling them to do. Um, sometimes we think that we're called to something and we find out later that's not the case, um, but um, it's, it's worth even expending time and money and energy um, even to find out that that's not what we are really being called to do because we learn more about ourselves and our gifts in the process. So I would encourage any young women who feel called to, to do whatever they need to do educationally and in service, um, in participation in their own congregation, to see if that's in fact what they're being called to do.